Hi everyone, welcome to the Network Assam YouTube channel and we are back with the SD-WAN series. In the previous video, we discussed about the SDN technologies and how it is different from the normal traditional networkings. And we also discussed about the controller like vManage, Smart and Bond. And also we done the basic topology. In front of you only, we designed the old devices and cable, cable connection and everything. Okay. And in the last video, we also bring up the vManage. In vManage, we configure the one side interface so that management way we can able to communicate that vManage. And then we also configure the VPN 512 that I told you for the management access. And what I told you on that time that there is a mainly two things. One side, this is for management purpose that is called VPN 512. That is already configured. We no need to configure VPN, but it's already created value IP address or interface obviously we need to configure but VPN file I not created it's already there and same way for public connection we have VPN 0 so this is known as a transport VPN and this is known as a management VPN so we configure only this part now let's go forward in this okay so here in this video we'll try to configure other we manage initial setup like what not just a 512 there is a vpn 0 config also we require and one we have system configuration try to understand guys here total we have five things okay as a initial configuration one is the system configuration that we'll do in this video then we have vpn 0 configuration then we require vpn 0 1 interface then we require VPN 512 and we require one interface in VPN 512. These five steps we need to configure as an initial configuration so that we manage start working properly. Okay. Once this is done, we also do the same kind of config graphically in the GUI. Like we access the graphical, in that also we'll do. So first let's focus this. And it's not a compulsory in sequence, okay? If you remember in previous video, we configured this already, VPN 512 and VPN 512 interface. Because that is we require for the first graphical access. Now let's finish the other required things. And then I will show you other graphical configuration as well. So let's go this configuration. So for that, you can see here, I already bring up that terminal. And for your understanding purpose, guys, I started from the scratch, okay? Means I just start the vManage and on the spot I start the console so you can see all this booting process and again you can see the same message which I highlighted in the last video that this kind of notification should be there and then there is a system ready notification and then there is a login screen and I already logged into the vManage. Now go to the configure terminal and here you can type a system command like yesterday we configure VPN file all these are global thing system then you are inside the system. Now, what is this? Try to understand guys here. Let's say I have bigger topology here, enterprise topology, where this part we are counting as a data center. This part we are counting as a branch one, already mentioned branch two and branch three, you can see. Same way, there is a multiple branch also possible. Now, I want to identify each device. As I told you, this SD1 is a centralized management. So, all device will be managed by this vManage. So, this vManage itself requires one identity that I am the vManage. And also, this vManage requires other controller identity and this all device identity. Now, it's not just a host name, okay? Because branch one is here, then let's say router one, router two. Branch 2 is here again. Branch 2 have a router 1, router 2. So only host name is not here as a unique identity. So we require multiple parameter that is called system configuration. In system, we'll focus on the six parameter. Like what? One is the host name, very common. Okay. But host name, as I told you, maybe it's not unique overall, everywhere. Branch 1 also have router 1, branch 2 also have. So, with the host name, if you have idea like OSPF, EHRP, there is a router ID. Same here, we have system ID. Okay, this whole device is known as a system. And the command actually we have 
that is system IP. Okay, but not count as IP address guy. It's just a keyword system IP. That is indirectly you can count as a what router ID. Okay, but it's not only router. That's why here it is known as a system IP. That controller also there, edge device also there. So it's counting as a system IP to just make a unique keyword for everyone. Then you also require third thing that is what site ID. What is that? Now let's say from the centralized, I want to know that this router, this edge device is in the branch one or branch. Here I will give the name. Okay, it is just a host name. You know that. But in background communication done via IP address. So that IP is part of branch one or branch two. That way here we can configure site ID. After that we require time zone. That whatever this branch, it is in the same time zone which is the DC or it is in the different country. Let's say our DC we have in the Bangalore and this branch let's say we have in the some Ahmedabad city or let's say we have this in the Chennai city. I am just giving example. So in this case it is just a different city but all are in the same country. Then we will use time zone everywhere same. But again as a centralized management this device need to know where is my other branch. It is in the same country, same time zone or different country, different time zone. So for that we have then we have organization name. So, whatever the different different device that should be part of same organ. So, this name will remain everywhere same to same because that only giving the identity that these all are in the same enterprise topology. Let us say there is a one more router or you can say VH device that is part of some XYZ company and let us say your part is what ABC company. So, why you will manage this XYZ company router obviously. So, how that become identity? It is a my company router or different. So, this. So, see, this is for entire company identity and this is for one company, multiple branch and this is for multiple router in one branch. So, we will get all proper detail identity. And the last, we require V bond IP. This is the total six thing we have, which is part of a system configuration. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now, we want IP is what? This all device need to verify with the V bond. So, everyone know where is the V bond of our organization. So, this six thing we need to configure. This is called your system configuration. Okay. So, let us do this. So, inside the system, as I told you guys, host name, you can use the tab. Okay, and then name. Let's say here I'm using this. We manage M capital just for your understanding, so that name will change or not. You will get idea. So we manage. Okay, and as I told you yesterday also that this thing still not change. Normally, if it is a Cisco router, what we type the command on this word host name change. But here, what you need to remember, guys, commit command. Whatever command you are typing is running. But it's not activated, it's not applied. You require commit things. Okay. But for one one command, I will not commit. If you just want to see for an understanding, let's say commit and you can see host name change. Okay, but every time not required. I will configure now other five parameters together. One already done. Okay, and then I will commit. So after that, what I told you guys, you require after the host name that is system IP. And that here, let's say I'm keeping what? Very simple, let us say 1.001. Okay. As a router ID, system IP here. After that, site ID. It is a part of what? Which branch? So, it is not a branch, right? It is in the data center. So, guys, here understand what numbering we'll use. Normally, data center, I will use site ID 200. I will not start from 1, 2, 3. Why? Because the branch and everything numbering become easy. Branch 1, I will use ID number 1. Branch 2, I will use ID number 2. Branch 3, I will use site ID number 3. If I use one number here, then what? Confusion in the sequence. If one number is here at data center, let's say two number is headquarter, then three number become branch 1. Four number become branch 2. 
So that will create issue. So I'm just doing this way. Headquarter will use with the site ID 100. Data center will use with the site ID 200 and branch will give the number from the 1, 2, 3. That is the my numbering scheme. Okay. So here I will use this is in the data center. So site ID 200. After that, time zone. Okay. Command is clock time zone. Now here what? You need to understand that we don't need to specify time like IST, okay, or 5.30, okay. Or we require here the time zone name. And in that, what you need to understand one thing, that first character is capital. Let's say if I want to use here Asia, then if I type this way, ASI, and if I try to use the tab, it will give the error. That no, this command not detect from the A itself, okay. But if I use here A capital, and tab. So see, it's working. Now not giving error. Let's say AS only. See, it's working. Okay. And then also here, first character capital. Let's say India, then Asia, Kolkata. So you can see with the K, there is a Kabul, Kathmandu, multiple thing is there. What we require? Kolkata. So this is your second command. Okay. Now, after this, what we have? Organization name. Now remember guys, organization name is very crucial because it's a case sensitive. So whenever you purchase the SD1 license or when SD1 license, okay, or you have the smart account, in that case, you need to remember that with which name you purchase that or you take on the license with the smart account, that name will be here. It's not actually your company name. It's knowing as an organization name as a command, but the name which is you use for the configuring all the device sometimes what let's say brand name is different and actual company name is different register company name is different okay so here you need to type that not actual company name but what name you want to use for configuration what name you take on in the license file okay so here we have this so i'm using this networkers home all capital you can type anything okay it will not give error because Right now, we manage don't know what is the license. Right now, we are just doing initial configuration, but later it will give error. Okay. And the last thing is what we bond IP. Now, here understand, guys, we bond IP is what two way possible. One is this side. Also, we manage can talk we bond. One is this side. But try to think more better way as an entire topology. Is this other device can talk with the we bond from this side? No. And what I told you in the beginning that everywhere we bond IP will be same one we bond. That means what you need to remember that we bond IP. What I need to type that is VPN zero side public side IP. Okay. So this side we are going to specify one network here. This already we specify that is our management network from this. This side I will use 10 series with the 200. Why this 200? Because I decide the site ID 200. So this network will use and then 0. For what? VPN 0. Okay. So this network will use dot 0 slash 24. 10.200.0. 10 series for private IP, 200 for the site ID. Here I will use 10.1 series for branch 1. And again, multiple network possible. You know that. It's a first two octet. Other octet still we do subnetting or multiple thing. 10.2 series for branch 2 and 10.3 series for branch 3 here 10.200 series okay and then this is for vpn 0 that way we are using so that way what again dot 1 dot 2 dot 3 ip i will use like here i told you one that means for your understanding guys this we want ip will be 10.200.0.3 this is your we bond ip okay so let's configure this here Only IP, okay? so it is not like you are configure the IP. You are giving the IP for other device. So it's only IP, no subnet mask. So six detail is done, guys. And then you can do exit and don't forget commit. So commit complete. Okay. If you want to verify, you can go one more exit on the privilege mode. And here you can run this command. So running normal command like we have in Cisco also. And then specify that I want to see the running config of the system. 
So you can see here that six values should be visible. Host name, system IP, site ID. That's why I'm using the same sequence. Okay. Then what? Organization name, time zone, and we want IP. These six things we configure that is here in the running config visible. So guys, this how you can configure the system things in the we manage. We have the same command here in the we smart and we bond, but we'll do step by step right now for this video. That's it. And in the next video, we'll see the VPN zero configuration and then we'll see the graphical configuration of the vManage. Thank you for watching this.